Hey guys, it's No Help, and welcome to my March Marathon, where I'm going to be uploading a video every single day in March. We are so close to 10,000 subscribers, so if you can go ahead and smash the like button and subscribe to the channel, greatly appreciate it. On with the video. Crafting has always historically been a very expensive skill to train from 1 to 99, and uh, whether that be on a regular account where you can just go ahead and buy it, or on an Iron Man account, crafting has kind of been one of those difficult skills to train that not a lot of people end up getting to 99. And having 99 crafting is an amazing thing to have because it teleports you right to the crafting guild, which is seconds away from a bank. Most people train crafting through making dragon armored bodies, and this is super expensive. You lose so much money, but you do get some pretty good crafting experience. Uh, and you can start this at around levels in the 60s with the green, and then in the 70s with the blue, and or, and then eventually you would get into the 80s where you make the black dragon hard, dragon hide bodies. And this was going to be amazing crafting experience, but you will lose a lot of money. Other than that, people in the past haven't really trained their crafting too, too much past um, until you would go, unless you were going for 99, and this would be usually late in the game where you had tons of money to spare. So what if I told you there's a way to train your crafting and make a profit at the same time and not even get really bad experience rates? So today I'm on my lower level main account right here and uh, we have 70 crafting. Um, so for this method, you're only going to need level 46 crafting. Um, if you go into crafting and then go over to glass, we're going to be making the glass orbs. So if we go on to the Grand Exchange and just look at the prices for Molten Glass, over the past six months, the Molten Glass has gone up a ton in value. So you'd think you'd be like losing money doing this method, right? But uh, back in say like January, it was around 100 G, December and January, it was around 100 gen GP for a Molten Glass. Where if we look at the unpowered orbs in the last uh, six months as well, somewhere here in January, um, these you were still making a little bit of profit, but it was nothing really compared to what it is now. So as you can see that the unpowered orbs right here uh, in January are like 120 GP each, but now they've skyrocketed all the way almost to 250 GP in the current date. And if we go back to the molten glass here, if we go all the way back um, to the molten glass, today's prices they're um 167 gp so this means you're profiting a ton so as you can see in the past six months the molten glass has went up 57 percent and if we go um back to the orb unpowered orbs they have went up in the past six months 129 percent. so there is where your profit is at all right, so we're going to be testing the experience rates today to see this if this is worth it because it is worth it at the end of the day because you're going to be training crafting for free basically and making a profit at the same time. So we have uh, our cash stack here. We're going to go ahead and buy. I'm going to just buy like 1500 just for today's video. I'm not sure. If, I'll just buy 2000 to see how many we can do in the hour. Um, actually, in my bank, I currently have for molten glass. Let me quickly go ahead and check this. So I'm gonna just uh, get rid of this quickly. Okay, so I've got it stored in the GE now. I'm trying to sell it for a thousand each. It will not sell. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is buy some molten glass, and we're gonna buy, I guess, two thousand. I'm not sure how many we're gonna be able to do per hour. So if we go ahead and buy molten glass, we're gonna actually put it up five percent as well. So this is gonna cost. Let's see how much this totally costs us. So it cost 300,000 GP exactly. So let's go ahead and see how much we spent here on the molten glass. Uh, 350,000 and we bought them for 150 GP each. So we're going to go ahead today and turn them into the, uh, what's it called? The unpowered orbs. Now how you do this is simply by getting a glass blowpipe and then just taking out the molten glass like this, using it on the molten glass and turning it into the unpowered staff orb. And as you can see, when we do this, we are going to be getting 52 crafting experience per orb that we make. And we're making profit at the exact same time. And it's incredible AFK time. So today I'm going to be testing it for a full hour. We're going to get ourselves to go to a good bank. We're going to be testing this for a full hour. Maybe instead of a full hour, we'll do all 2,000 of these molten glass. And we will go ahead and see how much XP we made and also how much money we made, which is crazy to say. Anyways, I will see you guys back if anything interesting happens. As you can see, I reset all the XP, so we're just training the crafting now. So I'll see you guys back when they're all blown. 
All right, so we are just over halfway done now. And uh, as you can see, we've already gained 55K experience. Um, it's showing we're gonna get, get about 75K XP an hour, but I did like uh, log out for the first like 10, 15 minutes and I should have paused it. But uh, um, we're gonna see for sure how much we get in the hour. And it looks like we're gonna be about able to do, I'm not sure if it's gonna show this on screen. No, it's not. Uh, maybe if I move this over, will it show? Yeah, we can do about 1500 actions per hour. Um, so yeah, not too bad at all. Um, and we're making money and getting some pretty good crafting XP. Like, um, you would think a method that you make money crafting, you'd only get like maybe 50k XP an hour. But when you're getting like, like if you got to think about it, training rune crafting, you get like maximum with lava runes, like 70k XP an hour. And that's very sweaty. This is a super chill back AFK method where you can profit off of crafting. And it's actually amazing. We already got a level as well in this hour. We're about to get another level soon. So yeah, I'll see you guys back when we finish these 2000 orbs. But uh, keep in mind, you will be doing about 1500 an hour. So this is just going to be slightly over an hour. Um of doing all 2,000 of these. Then we can see how much money we made. Well, we finished the 2,000 orbs and it was about an hour and 15 minutes to do all of these. Um, yeah, and we got 105,000 experience. I just paused the timer right now. I should have paused at the start so it would show a more accurate uh, or how much XP we were getting per hour, but it was like around 100, maybe 90k XP an hour um, doing this method overall. So, um, yeah, it's not too bad at all, and we actually got two crafting levels, which can't complain about that at all. Um, we had 70 at the very start, and now we're at 72 crafting. So, yeah, I'm probably going to honestly, as long as this is still profitable, do this all the way to 99. I want to get 99 crafting on this account just because the cape, like I was talking about at the start of the video, is super overpowered. And as you can see, if we go ahead and sell these now, we can check if we actually made a profit. So let's go ahead and sell these a little bit under price. And um, they're not selling because I'm pretty sure the rune light said they were cheaper than this. So they are. Oh, I'm going to have to check the price of these. Examine. So they are 229 each. So the GE price is off a little bit. So we'll just go here and sell them and I'm sure we'll still make a profit. Yeah, so 440k. Um, and then we go to the GE history. We bought these 2000 for 300k. And now we can we sold them for 440k so we made 140k profit and gained 105k crafting experience that is amazing and it's super afk as well so you guys can do this um like the entire time i was doing this i was playing temporis or doing temporis on my main account temporis temp temporis somebody said to say but temporis on the other account the whole time super afk super chill relaxed and uh profitable so yeah, anyways, if you guys like this video, make sure to smash the like button and I will catch you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching.